Hello everyone, this is Debbie Happy Cohen, founder of Joy Based Living. And today we're going to tackle the tough topic of reciprocity. I did another video on this, but I want to go deeper with it on a level of reciprocity within oneself. Because let's say you're on this healing journey alone, I think it's really important that you be able to give yourself the gift of reciprocity so that you can experience it then with other people because when we've been hurt in relationships and that for, has formed the basis of how we behave as adults now we need to heal in relationships and that's a phase of healing but sometimes we need to begin with ourselves simply with ourselves and so let's look at this topic of reciprocity as a city that we live in together so when i was 15 i bought my first self-help book when i was 16 i started collecting quotes in a notebook and that's how all this started but this first book was called how to start a conversation and make friends I didn't know at the time that I was really excruciatingly shy, not because that's who I really was, but because I was raised in a household where shame and emotional abandonment were just the order of the day. It was just normal. And when I saw this video on mirroring, and on the excruciating pain that happens inside of an infant when they're not emotionally mirrored. It really touched me. It, it was like it formed the essence to me of invisible abuse, emotional abuse. And if we were taught that way, either by our parents or it could be by our peers at school, I've talked about this before. This isn't just a blame the parent thing. It, you could be like, you can have autism and be in a classroom for years, uh, various classrooms, and people treat you like you are a weirdo, and they don't reflect back what you're experiencing to you. That can be really painful. Now, yes, I need chocolate for this conversation because it's freaking hard. Now, in processing the frozen coldness of indifference, the one piece of wisdom that I think is so important is never go no contact with yourself. So there's two angles to that piece of the conversation. Number one is if people of other people have been mean to you or hurtful to you and you've gone no contact with them, that's perfectly acceptable. What you don't want to do is you don't want to go no contact with you just because you were trained that way or treated that way. You want to develop the ability to stay in contact with you, which means learning to communicate with yourself what you're feeling at any given moment. That is the gateway to joy. That is the gateway to a full colored life and to all kinds of possibilities. I love this t-shirt, so I'm posting it here. We rise by uplifting others. That's true. And to the degree that we can experience the emotional scale, the range of the emotional scale is the degree that we can mirror and reflect back others, which I think is the essence of comedy. And real religion helps people get into a place of lightness and humor in my opinion. I just like this photo of the horses and so are the dogs, so there you go. And um, this is one of my favorite parades. I'm not really a parade person, but it this one took place at Epcot. It was called the Millennium Tapestry of Nations. And it was to me a total honoring of the beauty and wonder and differences and uniquenesses of all the cultures in our world. It was a celebration of humanity 
as though we were letting all the other planets know that we are in celebration together. It was such an upliftment and um, I'm celebrating it here because to me it was a mirroring of our best. So here we have the 12 Practices ebook at Joy Based Living and feel free to get a copy for yourself. Do the practices and come home to you. Thank you for being with me here on this journey. As always, I wish the very best for you. Bye for now.